Hi Pisces, this is your reading for the 8th to the 14th of June and we're nearly halfway through the month. Well, actually we are. Except for tomorrow. <laughs> and tomorrow I'm taking the day off, perhaps. Or I might just go and do a big celebration. Okay. Well, uh, I hope you've enjoyed your uh, extended or your update of your seven month uh, readings for the yearlies and your romance uh, readings and your last weeks and I'm going to um, start first off downloading uh, the ones that um, have the most likes so if you would like to be number one then make sure that you like give us the thumbs up and share the videos as much as possible and if you're my cyber angel then welcome back and I appreciate you sharing and liking and obviously if you're new then please subscribe and hit the bell on all and then you'll be notified when I go live I go live on Monday Wednesday and Friday and I give away free cards and I answer questions um, that are supported by a donation or that is a super chat or a super sticker if you would like an extensive reading then please have a look underneath this video and there you will find all the details and if you um, would like to have a scout around on the website then click on that white button in the top right hand corner of the screen and then you can see reviews you can see interviews you can see um, the latest news on the competition and also in the community section or button on YouTube right this is your reading as I said for the 8th to the 14th and I hope you will enjoy uh, in join in in the competition and see what that's all about and have a look underneath that video because there's more information with regards to the competition and you can win a free deck of the Shadowlands okay my darlings um, and the live sessions are really normal uh, lovely and thank you to all my moderators that keep the tea room uh, peaceful and respectful and join in with other people's chats or rather they chat with each other people are making friends and to cover my back and helping me thank you very much and I hope you will enjoy your reading we um, I'm doing I've, uh, I'm doing this card as the querent card I'm pretending that you're sitting in front of me or that you are on Skype with me or messenger and this is you this is where I'm going to work from around usually I have four cards in the bottom and four cards at the top so now I've put them in a different perspective you can read the cards and this is also showing you um, that you can put the cards any way you wish and you can get a lot of information this is my favorite layout this is my nine card reading and usually I just do it with one deck and then put down the clarification cards on top of the cards that I query but um, these are the clarification cards on the other cards Monday Wednesday Fr uh, Friday Saturday and Sunday and obviously the oracle card and an extra card from the white witch tarot which um, also rep this is the big arcana which represents a zodiac sign and the meaning of the card okay so let's get started the first card that you have is temperance upside down temperance it means that you're trying to keep balance or that you are in balance okay Temperance is also known as representing the um, Sagittarius uh, sign and it means also transformation and uh, it means trying to keep in balance, moderation, spiritual awareness and self-control. Yes, and if it's upside down then you haven't got any balance, you haven't got any self-control and it's like uh, this guy here he's shouting his head off although he's his skeleton and he's full of fire so he's too quick and do things uh, in quickness you have to repent in leisure so be careful try to keep your balance try to turn that card round and make your balance 
I love the cowboy boots. <laughs> okay. On Monday, you have the Eight of Cups. You want new beginnings. You want new beginnings. You are fed up with the routine. You want excitement. You want adventure. And you can see he is walking away. And he's in, he's next to the path. He's not actually on the path yet. He's trying to find his path because you don't know which way you're going or where you're going. So my suggestion is don't throw a pair of old shoes away um, before you have a new pair. In other words, what you have, you know what you've got. And you're on in search of something new. So don't throw away what you know. On Wednesday, you have the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles, he's got plenty of ideas. Look at all the, <laughs> the crystals growing out of his brain. That can represent ideas. Okay, well, anything that he puts his hand to will turn to gold. In other words, positively. The King of Pentacles is also um, recognized as a Taurus, but don't exclude um, Capricorn and Virgo. So anything that you do will turn to gold, most probably on Wednesday or Tuesday and Thursday. Time is man-made, or you might be meeting a Taurus, Capricorn or a Virgo. Then you have the Knight of Cups. They might come in and bring you news, an offer of love, or an offer of a job, or an offer of passion, or something that you love, something that you can nurture. It could be a job in the healthcare. It could be a job that uh, on a hobby that you love to do or that you're passionate about and it might become your job but you could also be meeting a cancer a scorpio a pisces pisces this is your reading remember so if you're hooked up with a pisces then the pisces might have some news could be financial though because at the weekend you're trying to keep the balance between finances or home and work front or just your heart and mind and your heart and soul spiritually in other words because Pisces is very spiritual now I'm going to start with this card first and you've got the crossroads and it's very close to temperance crossroads is a cross so you've got a lot of crosses to bear perhaps you can't, you might be depressed, you might be up in your head, and you don't know, can't make any choices, and you've got the Queen of Fire. Well, she usually knows what she wants, the Queen of Diamonds. Okay, so the Queen of Diamonds, that is Leo, but don't exclude Sagittarius or Aries. Okay. She is a, an independent woman. She takes, she stands for action. She goes for what she wants. No wild horses can drag her away from any idea of what she wants to do or have. Okay, she's got fire. So make sure that if you meet this lady or she becomes a friend of you, that you know her boundaries and you let her know your boundaries. Otherwise, she'll be burning yourself and her. She will be burning. So the friendship can uh, flicker out okay and you've got number 22 so the angels do have your back so you've got choices and decisions to make on which path you are going to take it's next door to the eight of cups and I read it with in the four in these four cards and it's next to temperance are you do you want balance or don't you want balance? If you want balance, then you'll have to make the decisions, sorry, the decisions for that new path. And you'll have to get down to it and quickly with all this fire, fire energy around in order to get started and to put it into action. Put your ideas into action. And then you can find your balance back. So you might want to do a specific job like I said there's there will be a job offer okay that could be a job offer or it could be, be related to a love relationship if you want it to last longer then know the boundaries go for what you want that's the queen what the queen of fire does now this little corner 
we've got the coffin here and the coffin means an ending to a phase, a new beginning there you go and the number is 8 so you've got money the money house and your strength house you have found your balance you have got strength you're stronger than you uh, think you are or that you know perhaps get to know your strength that will enhance your balance as well and the money house make sure that your money house is in order money might be coming into you it might be even an offer of a promotion okay now how does that re how does the coffin relate to the eight of cups well you want a new beginning and you've got the nine of diamonds there so there's money coming to you okay and you wanted a new path and the death is a new beginning so the choice is yours where are you going to in what are you going to do with your money to make more money because you've got the king of pentacles don't hang about turn temperance around go for what you want because everything is fine yeah, you can see that he is hold on that he is pondering about in his books and he's measuring up you can all oh, he's counting his money look he's counting his money but he's also noting it down in a book so be like the king of pentacles do your bookkeeping do your bookkeeping that's what I'm hearing make it as sound as a pound don't be <laughs> I'm sorry something came up in my mind no I'm not going to say that but it's I'll tell uh, 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 I got to hear as bent as a night bob note so be a little bit mad with your money you can bend it like a nine pound bob a uh, nine pound bob which doesn't exist it's a nine uh, pound note which is shaped funny a nine pound note doesn't exist it's always a ten pound note okay and bent means that you are a little bit skittish or mad with money <laughs> so try to extend your amount you can't make you you can make a nine to a ten all right that is what I'm trying to say I get really weird messages in my head <laughs> and this king looks quite nutty <laughs> Don't let anybody steal money. Look at what how magic is that. Um, I also read the cards in a, a diamond shape. But don't let anybody steal your money. Don't let anybody make you uh, tell you that you haven't got the money. Blah blah blah. You can make the money grow because you touch everything. You you've got the golden touch. Your wife is. Oh no, that's the fire sign. Your wife has the green fingers. So take a lesson. Or a leaf out of her book okay you might not be in balance you've got 23 but you've also got seven of clovers so the seven of clovers um, is um, the seven of ones what you, uh, uh, no yes seven of ones seven of ones seven of ones you might need the, you might feel the need to defend your rights your decisions because you're making decisions here and like here it's next to the, this is this little corner here so you know you're out of whack and you're uh, unbalanced here but you've got you're defending yourself if you work in groups you can delegate learn to delegate ask for help from friends makes light work if somebody's taken something from you then find out who it is okay um, you might have lost something somebody might not have taken something but you might have lost something so try to get other people to search for it or find out from other people if they've seen it something is gnawing at you because my snow so that could is a good explanation for when you keep on thinking and thinking and thinking okay thinking doesn't do anything it only helps you but you need help sometimes a sound advice from a bookkeeper okay could be a Virgo now um, it, in this you you will find the balance look at the mice they're balancing on leaves they're so light 
they can walk the leaves so try not to juggle anything anymore uh, count your losses you sometimes you have to count your losses I hear to get to where you want to go and this news will help you to get back into balance If you take advice from the, a professional person, you'll get your finances back into balance. Okay. You have luck on your side. You can defend yourself. Now, in this little corner, we have the King of Pentacles. I was talking about that. Now you know about that. A loyal friend might be able to help you because you've got the dog. And that means a trustworthy, loyal friend. Could be new, but it could also be an existing friend and you've got the ten ten of hearts so that is um, ultimate happiness you are in balance okay you've got the number ten of hearts so happy families and you've got number 18 which is a nine so bad period is coming to an end you love your friends and they love you and there is a good friend that you can talk to perhaps about your money or the money that you might have lost because it's underneath the pentacles and the mice means loss, gnawing, uh, stealing, uh, too much on your plates, stressed out, gnawing, thinking, mulling over things. Stop mulling. Get sound advice before you make an investment you have the blue angel feather and the blue is the color of service so perhaps you might have to need to seek somebody that uh, um, uh, is in a sort of service like a bookkeeper an advisor accept life as it is the angels are here to advise you that you will feel a calming inner peace and a peace of mind when you stop trying to control everything in your life mulling a peace of mind there you go and you've got Archangel Michael he'll bring you clarity and protection because blue is also the color of Michael and Michael is also the Archangel of and the chakra of the throat and the lungs and also service because he is uh, servicing or being of service to you now you've got the empress you've got the empress Pisces okay so that means a new beginning the ground is fertile fertile for something to start perhaps you might find out that um, there is a pregnancy of a child or a, a project something has already been sown or starting this could be the birth of a project or a child but you are like the king of pentacles everything you touch it will be perfect and the same with the empress the empress is also um, nurturing she's also like the queen of pentacles she has green fingers and the empress uh, she also um, nurtures it, makes it grow and let it blossom and then harvest okay and you could be meeting a Libra this card also means Libra I love these cards especially if you're nutty uh, about tattoos they're really great for tattoos go and have a look at the video and then you can see all of the cards I did a review on this deck I hope you have enjoyed this reading and have a wonderful week. Please share and like and the most likes I will start off next week uh, being the first video out. So take care and be blessed and stay safe and I love you all and I'll see you in the life if not in the next video. Ciao ciao.